Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. In the Belgian Congo, on the bank of a tributary of the Ubangi River, the Tarzan Gregory Safari rests for a day. Tarzan, Darno, Gregory, and Larson go for a swim in the river, while Helen and Magra mend their trail-torn clothing. Wolf realizes that he has been drugged by the very drink he had put in Gregory's canteen. His sullen brain decides that the native witch doctor tricked him. With his whip, he strides to the old man's tent. Again and again, the cruel black snake lash cuts into human flesh. Suddenly, the German's arm is seized in midair, and like a top, he is spun around to look into the stern face of Tarzan. Evil! Tarzan! Oh, let go! My arm! My arm! Give me that whip. Oh, oh. You almost twisted my arm. Oh. That's what I should have done. I warned you against whipping the natives, Wolf. Well, this fellow is a troublemaker. He... he is what? Well, he's a bad one. I caught him telling the blacks that they should ask for more pay or else desert. Mbuli, is that the truth? No, Borna. Kabisa, Kabisa. White man talk, talk with two tongues. I tell you, Tarzan, I heard him. The old devil is lying. No, Borna. Me move too. Mbuli tell true. Wolf, I don't believe your story. So? Huh. Uh, black boy's word is better than mine, huh? All right. But remember, I have warned I know these natives. They're good boys unless some white man stirs them up. And whipping their witch man is the way to do it. I don't agree with you. They're all bad. And what they need is the lash. Oh, understand me, Wolf. Once and for all, if you ever beat a native again, I'll take the whip and give you a taste of the same medicine. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah, I understand. With the whip still in his hand, Tarzan leaves the crude shelter and walks toward the group of whites. Wolf stands watching his retreating back. The German's face is red with suppressed rage. He turns to the old witch doctor, still cowering on the ground. Listen, Umbuli. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe you, you didn't give me that uh, sleeping stuff. Umbuli, talk true. No give Mbang Chai. Wanna look see more place along with the man. Umbuli, no do. Well, all right then. Anyway, we forget the business. The mm, Jimmy Hayo. That is good. Umbuli, forget the good. Now, uh, <clears throat> uh, have you talk, talk, a long boys? Mbuli talk, talk, long boys. Already for go when one I say. Fine. And remember, when I give the word, take everything, everything you can lay hands on, and get out. Mbuli sabe. What a mission go back long tail to Hotari, Bona? He give plenty salt, plenty fire water. Hmm? Uh, that's right, Mbuli. That's right. You got the idea. Wolf leaves the old voodoo man and sets out along the back trail. The crimson flood of anger, aroused against Tarzan, still races through his veins. He shakes his head and growls out a string of guttural oaths as his long legs cover the ground at a rapid pace. His eyes cast down, he stalks along, oblivious to his surroundings. Suddenly, his hunter instinct warns him that he is not alone. He halts abruptly, looks up to watch the unexpected approach of Artan Tom. Wolf. I had not hoped to find you alone so easily. What brings you back? Well, I was beginning to get worried. About your coming up, I mean. 
He stopped yes, me. Yes, one of my scouts ripped at your party as in camp here. I came to find out why. Ah, it's, it's the same trouble you always have when you got women on a safari. The Gregory girl and Marker, they had to stop and rest. So, logical reason to pause on a long safari. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how close are you behind us, though? Oh, just a short distance now. Well, don't come any closer. It might even be a good idea to uh, move back a little. Why? You appear to be afraid of something or someone. I, 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 I'm not afraid. Uh, I'm so careful. This fella Tarzan. Ah, I see. You may be a clever man, Tom. This is one time that you make a mistake. Yes? In what way? Brian Gregory was an American, wasn't he? I believe so. Well, do they wear leopard skins and kill lions with knives in the States? No? <laughs> yes. Yes, I've heard these fanciful tales from Lal Task. Brian Gregory is a strong man, no doubt. But he is incapable of performing any such feat as that. And I never knew him to clothe himself in the skin of a wild beast. Uh, nevertheless, this Tarzan does. And if you still think young Gregory could do such things, he is something else. Another triumph of jungle strength? <laughs> ah, you, you give it a name. Uh, you uh, know this Frenchman who is always with Tarzan? I know that such a one is with the party. He is the big fellow's closest friend. He knows all about his past life. All right. After that lion kill, everybody wanted to know what Tarzan's background was. Naturally. I should like to know myself. Well, he wouldn't say anything, but uh, this Lieutenant Dono, he told a story. <laughs> Dono <Donovetta. laughs> You and Lao Task have a fondness for recounting weird tales, Wolf. But, uh... Continue. Tarzan comes from the jungle. He, he was raised by the great apes. The great apes? <laughs> that is impossible. Larson knows the great apes as well as any white man alive. Hmm. He has followed them for months. Uh, he's seen them play and fight and kill. And what has this to do with Tarzan? Well, when Tarzan kills an animal, he puts his foot on it and uh, he lets out a yell. Oh, it's Hence the chills up and down your back. And that yell is the kill call of the great apes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Larson knows. He has heard it. Don't come any closer, Tom. This ape man might smell you. And if he does... Whoever he may be, Wolf, he cannot wreck my plans. However, I shall watch him. Uh, now, have you prepared the natives of your safari to desert and come to me? Yeah, yeah. All fixed. You must give them money, you know, schnapps, or, or they won't stay with you long. I shall take care of that. When your blacks are with my safari, I shall incite them to the point of attacking and capturing the entire Gregory party. You, of course, will be with them. No, you suspect I will. You don't want the Tarzan to know that I am giving him the double cause. If we are successful, your pay will be doubled. For this Tarzan... <laughs> Have no fear. When I have finished with him, he will be as harmless as a babe. As Wolf nears the Gregory camp, following his conversation with Tom he thoughtfully notes the close-grouped members of the party. At his approach, they look up expectantly, as if they had been awaiting his return. Well, what is this? Uh, council of War? No, not that bad, Wolf. I have something to say, and I waited until we were all together. Well, here I am. What's up? Well, you all know the purpose of this expedition, to search for my brother, Brian. Oui, Mademoiselle Hélène. But you don't all know that I have a map he sent me showing roughly the route to the place where I think he is. Naturally, this little map is important to Father and me. Yeah, sure, Miss Gregory. This Africa, this jungle, is filled with so many dangers all unknown to me. 
Well, I feel it's no longer safe for me to carry it. Oh, I understand how you feel, Helen. So, if he will accept the trust, I have decided to give it to Tarzan. Great idea, Helen. I don't see any need for you to worry, but if it will make you feel easier, I'll take charge of it. Well, here it is, and thank you. There, now, that's off my mind. Listen, what was that? Thunder? Just what it been. These African storms blew up in a hurry and then passed over just so quick. Not this time, Larson. I've known it was coming for some time. And it's getting so dark. You say you knew it was coming for some time, Tarzan. How could you tell? I I can't tell you that, but I felt it since yesterday. You think it will be more than a past storm, Tarzan? It will be a tornado. Your Usha, the wind... He's getting ready to tear up trees by the roots. I, I believe you're right, Tarzan. I'm going to see that my tent is straight down good and tight. Come back as soon as you're through, Wolf. This is going to be a bad one. Larson, when Wolf gets back, you go down and stay with the natives. Yes, yeah, sure. Gregory, Dono, take Helen and Margaret to our tent. It's the strongest. And make sure the pegs and ropes are solid. I don't need Tarzan. Don't need the breast. Here comes the water. Come, Helen, Margaret, feet, feet. As the storm breaks in all its fury, vast cloud balloons of sepia roll over the jungle, discharging a host of liquid clouds. Tarzan and Larson fight their way from tent to tent, making them secure against the fury of the tempest. Wolf, soaked to the skin, bursts into the old witch doctor's flapping shelter. Honor, come along, big storm. Yeah, yeah, but you, uh, have you fixed it with the water mishy boys? Uh, are they ready? <laughs> water mishy way from Bully. Then go for runway. Good. Tell to one now. I will see him as soon as I can. Savi? Mbuli Savi. You come along, Motomishi? I, I come later. Uh, have you got the supplies? Uh, they can pick them up. Supplies? Chakola and big tent. Motomishi take when Bona say. Thank God, just listen to that wind and rain. Uh, all right, Mbuli. Now is the time. Take the supplies and get out. Can do, Bona. Mbuli Savi. Motomishi go now. Yeah, yeah. Get all the stuff together you can, we'll go!